This is the Prehistoric Trackways National Monument northwest of Las Cruces, New Mexico. We're now looking out over the Rio Grande Valley. You can see a bit of the Doniana Mountains to the left and the Oregon Mountains are off to the right but they're obscured by a ridge there. Weather conditions are pretty bad for photography or videography but I felt like going for a hike and so here I am. Today I will be proceeding west. This entrance road kind of peters out and gradually becomes a jeep trail that goes and winds around through the monument and also connects to the Robledo Mountains. The off-road vehicles are permitted on the west side of the mountains, the east side being a wilderness study area. The plant in the foreground is an ocotillo. The plant in the background that has that prominent spike is an agave. Probably agave perii. Notice the basal rosette is quite dry, nearly dead. And that's because the plant is taking all the energy it can, putting it into the stalk. And then developing flowers and seeds with all that stored energy and other resources. How you doing? I'm approaching the area where I'm going to drop down into the canyon. You can see the Doniana Mountains there in the distance. And just for reference, this is where the Robledo Loop, excuse me, Robledo Loop meets with the presidential staircase. As we have seen, this area is used by off-highway vehicles. Sometimes you'll see horseback riders and mountain bikers here too. A little bit further along. There's the Big Jim Trailhead. I documented that in a prior video, but today I'm going to be going further west onto the Hopping Jalapeno Trail. All right, I've gone 2.2 miles. That's Picacho Peak or Picacho Mountain in the center of the frame. This is a junction with a trail. It is not for motor vehicles. SST bike trail. Hiking, equestrian activities, and mountain biking are permitted here.
All right, this is the Bell Pepper Trail. Notice the seven on that sign. That's an indicator of the degree of difficulty for Jeep trails. Seven's pretty high. The vast majority of vehicles aren't gonna be able to go down that trail. Notice at this point, I'm facing east. You're unable to see the Oregon Mountains, so I've actually kind of gone over a crest. And if you pan a little bit more to the north, you see some peaks there. And frankly, I'm not even sure. I'm pretty sure those are the Doniana Mountains, but I'll have to double check that when I get home and look at the overhead view. This is an Ocotillo plant. We've had some rain in the past few days, so it's actually leafed out. All right. I've gone 2.71 miles, Robledo Leap, excuse me, Robledo Loop continues on that way, roughly northeast. And here we see the Hopping Jalapeno Trail, which I've actually never taken before. So I'll be going along this. There's some banana yucca there, yucca bacata. Exposed limestone. Notice this used to be a seabed. This area was actually formed as a result of the Rio Grande Rift about 35 million years ago. But it's really a Ge geologic jumble. There are all kinds of different straight up different kind of rocks that have different characteristics and different dates. The Bureau of Land Management has some Robledo Mountain Geology and Prehistoric Trackway National Monument videos on YouTube that describe that in some detail. So now I'm headed roughly south. You can see Picacho Peak on the horizon there. Some pretty impressive exposed strata here. So you can see why this would not be easy for most off-highway vehicles to traverse. So here's a jumble of interesting rocks. And there's a lizard up there. Down in the crevice. I won't pester him anymore. I really turned this on just to, to show this inclusion body here. It's kind of interesting. There's some similar ones over there and over there. There's that little fellow again. Here's one of those inclusions that is fractured along with the rock it's embedded in. That's kind of cool to see. A little further along. Sun's starting to come out, or at least trying to. 
and I am really enjoying this area where it came. To my untrained eye, it looks like there was a flow of water here sufficient to undercut this rock and cause some scouring of the softer material underneath. So here we're seeing some ocean fossils embedded in this rock, which I believe is limestone. It's part of an enormous exposed bed. You can see a lot of fracturing has occurred here. And here is what appears to me to be a more recent fracturing event with these two pieces that used to be joined together somehow managed to break off and split I think it's fair to say that tree is a real survivor with quite a history in this area. So I'm proceeding along a hopping jalapeno trail going roughly south, seeing a lot more interesting geological formation here. And we're coming up to a point where it joins up with Bronson Canyon. And it's a section called Amista Ledges. I've already documented that before in other videos. So at this point, my plan is to sort of sign off. I say sort of because I often change my mind. We'll see.